So we're just uh, hanging out during the music there, listening to John Legend, All of Me. And fortunately, I got a thumbs up from, from Harrison and Alyssa here for putting that one on. You know what? You, you've got an opportunity here to do a shout out to whoever you want. I'm, I'm hoping someone at St. Matthews is listening. If not, the whole school, Mr. Dowd, I'm talking to you. And anyway, have you got a shout out? Who do you want to say hi to? Hello to Year 6. <laughs> All of Year 6, yeah? Yeah. Any teachers you got to say hi to? Hi, Miss Viviani. Miss Viviani, very <laughs> nice. I think um, all the teachers and students are back at St Matthews listening, so certainly a big shout-out to everyone at St Matthews, um, particularly those who have bought tickets and all of their families who are listening at home and getting excited about the show. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and you know what, it's, it's important to do those shout-outs to those people because I'm assuming a lot of them have supported you guys along the way. So, I mean, are all of your friends in the zoo sick hall, yeah. Alyssa? Yeah. Beautiful. So they're helping you out. And what about you, Harrison, or everyone on board? Yeah. Yeah? Who, who have you got helping you out on backstage? So, the, so who, who's your mate helping you pick up this superstar that's going to float through the air? Dominic. Dominic, all right. Dominic, hi. How are you doing, buddy? Maybe you could talk about some of Dominic's work on the flats. The flats? What are the yeah, flats? Yeah. He draws out all the Whoville and all that yeah. 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 so he's done, he's an excellent young artist. He's done an amazing job on our flats at the back. Oh, flats is in backdrops. Yep, all oh, our backdrops right, right, right. by okay, him. Cool, and he's working hard on, you know, getting them to look the way he wants them and incredible job. So okay. hopefully you'll see those on the night. And of course, you guys are still looking for sponsors, yeah? I mean, actually, you know what, the, the most important piece of information we haven't even put out there yet is, so what date is it on? Ah, it's on November the 12th. November the 12th? Yep, doors open at 6.30 for a 7 o'clock start. All right, terrific. And tickets? Tickets are on sale online, but probably the easiest way to get them is to get in contact with our school office. And now I've... On, no, I've got it here. You've got it there? <laughs> yep, so if you are looking for tickets, the number you want to call, and, and there'll be a test on this later, so I'm going to just make sure that you've got... Everyone get a pen. I just imagined an entire school picking up pens and pencils, although what, what year do you get your pen licence now? Um, year three. Year three? Yeah, something like that. All right, so years kindergarten one and two, pick up your crayons or pencils. And year three and upwards, you can pick up your pens. Make sure you chase up your parents as well, guys. You want everyone on board for this one. So if you want to get tickets, the number is 4577-3463. You want to repeat that for me, Alyssa? Do you remember the number? No. no? I'm just going to put you under pressure there. <laughs> so that number again, 4577-3463. And they're actually also offering, for those that are out there who aren't at St. Matthew's right now, they're actually chasing sponsorship at the moment to help fund this musical that they've got going. Is this the first time you've done this? Yeah, yeah. well, I, as far as I know, like very far back in our history, obviously St. Matt's has been around for a really long time, but I think there's been a couple of musicals a long, long time ago, but of all the staff and students that are there now, it's certainly our first. Terrific. So if you want to sponsor the production, and there's a couple of different options I think I can remember. There were some different levels of sponsorship. Some include tickets, mm -hmm. and some of them actually include the opportunity to put signage in the foyer, yeah? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, they've changed their mind. They don't want to call. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's probably because they're calling the school office now trying to buy some tickets. That's right. So that number, 4577-3463. But if you want to sponsor the show, absolutely make sure you give St. Matthews a call and get that happening. So have you got a sample of some of the music that we're going to hear during this musical? I do. And we were talking before, it definitely sticks in your head. So. Yeah. And is it sort of, it's upbeat music? and Yeah, it's really, you know, obviously there's a nice balance between, you know, the more excitable songs and the, there's even a lullaby in there, but okay. a really upbeat Show. Terrific. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll play one of those so that the listeners get a feel for what sort of music to expect, and we'll talk to you shortly. So, Rachel, go for it. You can push play anytime you're ready. <laughs> oh, the things you can think. Oh, the things you can think. If you're willing to try. Think invisible ink, or a gig with a stink, or a stare to the sky. If you open your mind. Oh, the things you will find.
the smallest of small to the jungle of all and the largest of all. Things you can think. I love it. That was awesome. We were all, it's terrible. All four of us were in here bopping along then. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get along. Like, like the Zeusical, I think this is one of the, the biggest things I've seen St. Matthews do in a while. And uh, I think it's awesome. I'm a, a huge supporter of the creative arts, especially drama and acting and musicals and things like that. It's, it's something that's always been in my background. Uh, I recently actually was up at uh, one of the local uh, churches and I ended up, I, I picked up a role and I had to sing and, and everything. So that was a bit different for me, but I, you know, I had a great time and I always encourage my kids to go into that sort of stuff as well. Do you guys know Jordan, by the way? My daughter Jordan, she's in year two. No? You know her if you saw her. Possibly, maybe. Yeah. What about Mrs. Phillips, the librarian? Have you met her? Yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah. so that's my mum. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. So I try to be involved in the school. But as I said, like, make sure, guys, if you are going to get some tickets, give them a call as soon as possible. So 12th of November, so time is running out. Seats might be running short, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't still call and see if you can get your hands on them. How much are the tickets, by the way? Well, they vary depending on where you're seated. Obviously, the you know front row is a little more expensive than the back one. Yep. Um, with the tickets that are left, I think they vary from about 10 to $20. Oh, wow. So it's not even an expensive night out. And, and that song is great. Like, I really enjoyed that. So if you do want to get tickets, I'm going to keep plugging this number out there for you, so 4577-3463. Give them a call, and also, as I said, if you do want to sponsor this production and help St. Matthews keep this sort of thing going, make sure you get on board, and like I said, you can even have your banners in the, in the foyer. Yeah, in the foyer, uh, in our newsletters, and, and certainly, like, obviously, we're coming up to the show now, but it's something that we could look forward for the future, not next year, but definitely for the future. <laughs> and so, you know, if we break even on this one, or, you know, can get it even a little bit ahead, then that's going to stand us in good stead for the next one that we might do. Terrific. So. Well, speaking of sponsors, I actually have to pay the bills now, so I've got to put a couple of words on from our sponsors, but we'll be back in a minute, so stay tuned for Alyssa Harrison and I should stop saying Rachel, it's Mrs... Mrs. Usher. Mrs. Usher, okay, so Mrs. Usher, Alyssa and Harrison. All right, let's have a look from our sponsors. Don't buy meat from just anywhere. Get real meat from South Windsor Bush. Asha here, we're talking about the Zoosicle, and of course what they want to do is, it's a big community event, which is why they're coming here today, and Hawks Radio, we are happy to, to support you guys, so we're glad that you've come in today, and can't wait to see it, I am going to be there, I'm definitely going to be appearing, and, and I'll show up, and you know I'll see what I can do about getting some more sponsorship happening for you from out and about the area, does that sound good? Yeah. yeah. Are you looking forward to the night, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Is it, it's just the one show, yeah? It is just the one show. Okay. Um, you know, especially when you're working with young performers to put on any more than that is, you know. But they've also got a, like our biggest dress rehearsal in the, like a matinee spot. Okay. And our whole school will be coming up to watch that, but no hair and makeup. So if you're one of our parents at home, the nighttime show is definitely the one to see. Oh, uh, let's be honest, Mrs. Usher, kids don't need makeup, just adults do. No, no, no. We're, we're going very theatrical. So <laughs> oh, really? our students, um, the students that are in the performance had the opportunity to design the hair and makeup. Oh, wow. And then we've chosen, you know, say it's a group of who's, for example, we've thought, right, that one is going to be the most achievable and it best shows that character and that's what they'll look like on the night. Okay, so if you are a big Dr. Zeus fan, which I am, I'm terrible, I love the Dr. Zeus, but I have the whole set, so but what characters can I look forward to seeing? Who, who have we got, Alyssa? Um, the sour kangaroo, the cat in the hat. Um, the cat in the hat's going to make an appearance? Yes. Yeah. Has he got the big red and white hat? Yeah. Awesome, who else? Um, JJ. Mr. and Mrs. Mayor from Hayfield. Yep. And, um, like, a million more. Oh, wow. That's awesome. What about Harry?
Harrison. What's what's your favorite Doctor Zeus book, Harrison? The Lorax. The Lorax. You like the Lorax? Why do you like the Lorax? Because he protects the trees. He protects the trees. You're a bit an environmentalist, are you? You want to look after the the environment? Yeah. Yeah. I think the, the Lorax is, is actually such a beautiful story. I, I absolutely recommend it. If you haven't read the Lorax, make sure you pick up a copy and, and have a look. But my favorite one has got to be the sleep book. I love the sleep book. It's just one of these ones, you know, a million who's and now in their beds. The whole bit. And it just rhymes really nicely. And, and I read that whenever I get the opportunity. And, and like I said, I've got the whole set. It's just terrible. The, uh, but I mean, the, the movie of The Cat in the Hat doesn't fit the book. Exactly accurately. Have you seen the movie The Cat in the Hat? No. You should, you should check it out, but it doesn't fit with the book quite right. But, uh, you know, can't win them all, can you? No, creative license. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Especially when you've got the guys from Wayne's World involved. <laughs> so right now we're going to go to another song, and this one is, hopefully you guys know it, and if you're at school you should sing along. So this is actually from Pitch Perfect, and this is the Troublemakers, and this is their final number that they sing, and we'll be back shortly. And as long as I turn it up, we'll actually get some sound. As I said, the, the crew for St. Matthews for the Zeusical coming up on the 12th of November. And as I said, we want to get people sponsoring this show. We want people to come along. We want people to come and watch it. And we've heard some of the music, which was absolutely cool. Very bop along. And I can't wait till I get there. And if you do want to buy tickets, make sure you give them a call on 4577-3463 for tickets or sponsorship. Because that's what we want. Isn't it, Alyssa? We want more sponsors. Yeah. Can you, can you give me a please call? <laughs> please. That's it. Look, they're looking here. Look, they've got bright eyes, they're bushy tail, they're learning and they're putting on a performance for everyone out here in Windsor and the Hawkesbury area, so make sure you give them a call. Thanks so much for coming in, Alyssa, it was lovely to speak with you. Yeah. And also, thank you very much, Harrison, the man of many words. He's mysterious, that's what it is. <laughs> He's just saving it all for the night. He is, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, Rachel, Mrs. Usher, I think you're doing a fantastic job. Uh, I managed to sneak in and have a quick look at one of your rehearsals you were doing down there on the quad, and it looks like you've got a lot going on in coordinating. Are there, are there any particular teachers that are sort of helping you out along the way? Yeah, we're very fortunate. All the staff are involved in some way, whether, you know, small or large. Um, Miss Henry, our music teacher, is working really hard to get our principals, you know, up and ready to go and feeling really confident. Terrific. Um, our classroom teachers, Miss Viviani, Mrs. Peer and Miss Mitzi, are there at every rehearsal and, you know, taking charge and Fantastic. doing some great choreography and, you know, yep. finding new skills, I think. Excellent. Well, you guys keep up the good work. We'll see you out there and we'll make sure that we get some people in there to sponsor. So right now we're going to have to go to the news. Thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. And again, if you want to get tickets, 45773463. And now the news should start in about two and a half seconds. Macquarie National.